hello guys welcome to my youtube channel rohit tech today in this video i'm going to show you how to install open office 2024 on mac os open web browser type here in google search download open office for mac press enter click here on first link www.openoffice.org Let's scroll down. Open Office Hardware Requirements CPU Intel Processor Memory means RAM minimum 512 MB required Storage at least 400 MB available disk space Graphics 1024 by 768 or higher resolution with 16.7 million colors Let's click on Apache Open Office. Click on Download Full Installation. Now the downloading is started. It is 169 MB Open Office setup. Now the downloading is completed. Let's close Web Browser. Click on Finder, click on Downloads. Here it is over Open Office Setup. Let's right click on it. Open with Disk Image Mounter. Let's close Downloads. Drag Open Office in Applications. Let's close on it. Eject Open Office Installation Disk. Click on Launchpad. Click Open Office. Open Office cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Click on Cancel. Click on Apple button. Click System Settings. Click Privacy and Security. Let's scroll down. Open Office was blocked. Click Open Anyway. Type here Rohit Tech Password. Click Modify Settings. Click Open. Let's close System Settings. Welcome to Open Office. Click Next. Type here for name, example R. Type surname, example S. Click on finish. Now the open office is open. These are open office options. Test document. Now open text document. As you can see, it is similar like Word. Let's close on it. Click Open Office, click Spreadsheet. As you can see, it is similar like Excel. Let's close on it. Click Open Office again. Click Presentation. Select Empty Presentation. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Create. As you can see, it is similar like PowerPoint. Let's close on it. So viewers, in this video tutorial, you can learn how to download and install OpenOffice 2024 on Mac OS 14 Sonoma. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.